it's a it's a good call that as a concerned majority we want our government to succeed so if for example common not being released and it's affecting the performance of MPs and MMDCs who are appointed by the president, then steps ought to be taken. We need to hear from our finance minister. We need to hear from the president on steps that are being taken. Because you, when it comes to the removal of a minister, the constitution says you need to test of members present and voting. And it's by secret ballot. From the way things are, you cannot guarantee it. You cannot. So I don't think it's, it's uh, the interest of our side of government to remove our minister. But when push comes to shove, to save the party, the government that we are asking to break the eight, which I don't believe in, I believe in winning successive elections. We are not here to win two elections and say we are breaking the eight. No. I believe, you have to quote me well, I believe in winning successive elections. Eight is just too small. So whatever it takes for the government to put in place the right measures, if it requires removing all the cabinet ministers and setting up a new government, we will support it. If that is what will win our successive elections, we support it.